Welcome. Today, we're diving into the FiberSense's Perimeter Intrusion Detection System, the ultimate security solution. But that's not all. In upcoming videos, we'll guide you through integrating FiberSense's into the Gentech Security Center. Stay tuned for step-by-step -step tutorials on configuring FiberSense's and integrating it with Gentech. Subscribe and hit the notification bell for all our thrilling content. Exciting times ahead. Without any further ado, let's start the video. The first step, user has to calibrate the FiberSense's Defender Module, APU. In order to calibrate the module, we will be using the FD322 tuning software, which is provided along with the module. If you don't have the software, you can obtain it from us. Let's begin by installing the tuning software. To install the software, open the folder and right-click on the installer file. Then select Run as Administrator. The welcome screen will appear, click Next to proceed. Accept the license agreement, and click Next. For the destination location, it is recommended to use the default location. Click Next to continue. Then, select the APU data directory location, and click Next. Choose the Start menu folder, and click Next. If you want to create an icon on the desktop, select the checkbox, and click Next. The installation process may take a while. Once it's completed, the finishing screen will appear. Click Finish to complete the installation of the FD322 tuning software. After the installation, you will find the software icon on your desktop. Now, Let's calibrate the FiberSense's Defender module. The first step is to physically connect the APU RS232 port to your laptop using a serial connection, such as a direct serial port or a USB to RS232 converter. Once connected, run the FD322 tuning software from the desktop. After connecting the APU, you need to select the appropriate serial port in the software. To do this, Navigate to the Serial Port menu on the left side of the screen. Select the port number, and click on the Connect to COM port button. A dialog box will indicate that the APU is connected. Access the channel mode, and select Terminal to calibrate the device. To enter the calibration mode, type C, A, L, I, B, and press Enter. Set the time, and date by typing D and pressing Enter. The currently stored time will be displayed. Set the time by typing current time, 1058, and press Enter. The display will show the revised time. Hit Enter again to display the current store date. Change the date by typing date, and hit Enter. The revised date will be displayed on the screen. Next, we move on to measuring the loss, and calibrating the unit for sensitivity. Access the calibration menu again, and type M, L to enter the calibration. Confirm by typing Y, and pressing Enter. At this point, the display will show the last stored measurements. In this case, the last stored measurement was 0 decibels, on October 27, 2020, at 642. Once you enter the calibration mode, vigorously shake the fence for about 10 seconds. Note that the lost display doesn't change while you're shaking the fence. It continues to show the last measured value. After shaking the fence, take a small tool like a screwdriver and insert it into the test port on the APU. Depress the internal test button. As you can see, the APU has saved the new loss value. Now you're ready to use the APU for monitoring. To test if the APU is correctly detecting intrusions, access the channel mode and run the real time monitor. When you shake the fence, the monitor will detect the waves, and the display color will change automatically, as you can observe on the screen. In normal conditions, the display will show normal waves.
Finally, let's configure more parameters of the APU unit. Access the channel mode and click on APU parameter editor. Here, you can change the name of the APU unit, channel names, and other parameters. Once you have completed all the configurations, click on Send to save the settings in the unit. If you want to save the settings file, click on the Save button and proceed. I hope you now understand the calibration process for the APU unit from FiberSenses. In the next video, we will learn how to add these calibrated APU units into Fiber Commander for monitoring. Thank you for watching this video on calibrating the FiberSenses Defender module. If you found this information helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below. Stay tuned for our next video, where we delve deeper into the features of Fiber Commander. See you soon.